everyone. Myself Prayag Patel, working as assistant professor in IT ICT department of LJ Institute of Engineering and Technology. Now in today's video lecture, I will discuss about this table matching problem. Now here in table matching problem, first we discuss about the what is the maximum matching. Now maximum matching means if G equal to VE is a bipartite graph with V partitions as X union Y. A maximum matching in G is one that matches as many vertices in X as possible with the vertices in Y. So here X and Y is a two set. Union of X and Y is given. So here combination of X and Y we can say as the maximum matching. That means we maximum match with the X with Y. So here in second figure, green shaded line consider as a matching. So first match with the second. Third match with the first, fourth match with the third, fifth match with the fourth, and last match with the last. So this is a maximum five matching possible in this graph. So here we can say that the maximum matching as a five. Now after that, next definition is a deficiency of graph. Now here what is the defi deficiency? Deficiency means let G equal to V. be a bipartite graph where v is a partition as x union y if x is a subset or equal set of a is a subset or equal set of x then delta of a equal to mod a minus mod r a and it is called the deficiency of a so here a is a element of x so for example a equal to x1 x2 or a equal to x1 x2 x3 or a equal to x1 x2 x3 x4 all are possible so mod a minus mod r a is called the deficiency the deficiency of the graph g denoted by the delta g if given by delta g equal to delta a where a is a subset or equal set of x so we can say that the a as a x1 x2 then delta of a we can find as a deficiency of a now we consider all this type of a and we find the deficiency for each set a a1 a2 a3 and out of this all maximum deficiency is considered as a delta of g so here delta of a equal to 2 then delta of g is also considered as a 2 so deficiency of graph is like this now for example here we consider if a equal to x1 x2 x3 subset or equal set of x then r a equal to y1 y3 because here x1 connected with y1 x2 connected with y1 y3 and x3 connected with y1 y3 so overall connection of a with the ra that is y1 y3 so ra equal to y1 y3 a equal to x1 x2 x3 then what is the delta a deficiency of a equal to mod a minus mod ra that means three node available in a a so mod a equal to 3 minus two element available in a ra so mod ra equal to 2 so 3 minus 2 equal to 1 so deficiency of the set a equal to 1 now after that what is the deficiency of graph so deficiency of a is considered as a deficiency of graph deficiency of graph example see here a equal to x1 x2 x3 ra equal to y1 y3 according to this graph because x1 connected with y1 x2 connected with y1 y3 and x3 connected with y1 and y3 so y1 and y3 is a resultant set ra now delta a means mod a minus mod ra so here 3 minus 2 equal to 1 now delta a equal to 1 that means delta g equal to 1 now here what is the delta g deficiency of graph so here set a equal to x1 x2 x3 then deficiency of a equal to 1 that means graph deficiency is also 1 removing the one of the vertices from a and the edge is incident with it if we remove the one edge then we will get the complete match so here for example our deficiency of graph is 1 that means remove the one edge from the set x set a so a as a x1 x2 x3 then remove the one from a x1 x2 and x3 and we will get the resultant set so see here this removal here we remove the x1 because a containing the x1 x2 x3 
and we remove the one because our deficiency of graph is one. That means remove the one node from the A. So we remove the x one. So resultant graph in figure B has a x two, x three, x four, and y one, y two, y three, y four, y five like this. So here we obtain the subgraph B according to this. Now in this bipartite subgraph contain a complete matching from x one as a x two, x three, x four into y. Here matching is like x two, y one. X3, Y3, and X4, Y4. This indicate one such matching that is also maximal matching of X into Y. So here X match with Y maximum matching is like this three element X1, X2, X3, and X4 match with this three element Y1, Y3, and Y4. So this is a matching. Now after that, one theorem related to this matching is let G equal to VE be a bipartite graph. With V partition as x union y, the maximum number of vertices in X that can be matched with the those vertices y is mod x minus delta g. So mod x means element of x minus delta g is considered as a our theorem. So according to our example, a equal to x1, x2, x3, r a equal to y1, y3. So here delta g equal to one. That means remove the one node from the x. So here x minus one, that means four minus one. So three node available in our resultant graph. So this is a theorem. So here x equal to x one, x two, x three, x four. Mod x equal to four. Mod x minus delta g equal to four minus three. So three node available in this graph. Now, most important theorem regarding this, or most important problem regarding the matching is stable matching problem. Now, stable matching problem is also called the stable marriage problem. That means here set of boys and girls are given. Here, for example, in this figure, we see that one, two, three, four, five consider as a boys. A, B, C, D, E consider as a girls. Now, here you have to match the boys with girl. One boy match with one girl for the marriage purpose. So that's why we can say that here priority is given. So here, for the boy number one, priority is like C, B, E, A, D. That means boy one's first priority is C, second priority is B, third priority is E, and fourth priority is A, and last priority is D. Same way for the boy two, three, four, five, or for all the boys, we have given some priorities. Same way for the girls also, we have to give some priorities like A, B, C, D, E as a girls. Girls, a priority as a three, five, two, one, four. So first priority is boy number three. Second priority is boy number five, then two, then one, and four. So you have to arrange or assign the boys with girl pairing of boy with girl according to their priorities. So the stable marriage problem or stable matching problem states that given n men and n women. Where each person has ranked all members of the opposite sex in order of performance. So here, marry the men and women together such that there are no two people of opposite sex who would both rather have each other than their current partners. If there are no such people, all the marriages are stable. So you have to find the stable, stable marriages. That means. You have to consider the or set the maximum priorities or probabilities for this particular selection. So this is called the stable matching problem. Now understand this thing using this example. Now here first set first table as a main table. In main table, A, B, C, D, and E. This five consider as a main. Now second table is a women table. In women table. Name of the woman is like L M N O P. Now here we have to match the man with the woman. So here already some priority is given. For example, priority for A equal to O M N L P. That means man A first priority is woman O, second priority is woman M, third priority is woman N, fourth priority is woman L, and last priority is woman P. Same way. For the women, also we have to give some priorities. So for the L woman, priority is D. 
B, E, C, and A. These all are the main. So we have to arrange this according to stable marriage problem. Now for that, first compare the or first consider the main A. Now in main A, first priority is woman O. So match the A with O. Assign match A main A with woman O. That means in second table also we have to define O match with A. So both are highlighted in this figure. Now after that. We assign this thing means we send the color like this A and O as already assigned. So O and A is also assigned in women table also. Now second comparison in men table as a B men compare or assign to P women. So B and P match. So in second table also we have to highlight these two element P match with the B because here B to P. Then in women table this is a P to B. Right. So here matching is possible. Yes. Then assign this B to P. Now after that, third component is C. Now C first priority of the in men table C as a M. So assign the M woman to C men. So here in second table also we assign M C. Highlight M and C. That means M woman assigned to C men. Now, according to that, we have to perform the next operation as a D. So for the first table D and first priority is P. That means D men assigned to P women. Now here in second table, see here in second table, P is already assigned to B. So we cannot assign P to D. That means here we can say as the red highlighted node as a D in second table. Because we cannot assign D to P because already P assigned to B. And now we have to compare the priority of B and D in second table. So in second table, in women table, B is appear before D. That means B is highest priority with P. So assign P to B, not P assigned to D. That means here D is a red markage. That means here we cannot assign D to P. Now we will see that P is a red line highlighted. That means P priority is not satisfied for the D. Now check the second priority for the D. So D to M. That means D man assigned to M woman. That means now we have to check the M table, M row in second table, woman table. So M to D. Now see here highlighted D in second table. See here already m assigned to c and we have to assign m to d so check the priority of d and c in second table so in second table d appear before c that means we remove the assignment of m and c and we assign a new arrangement as a m and d so see here here we remove the c so here if we remove the c then in first table also we change the marking C as a not selected, not assigned, and M is a not possible for C. So red highlighted in first table as a M. And we also assign D to M. So highlight D and M in both the table. Now after that, next assignment is a for C. C to next priority is P. So C to P is possible. C here in second table. P is already assigned to B. So C is not possible to assign P. But here check the priority of B and C in second table. So B is appear before C in P row. So not assign C to P. So red highlighted C. Now after that, check the next possibility, next probability of C. So C to L is possible. Now here see that L is assigned to anyone? No. So here we assign L to C. So see here C and L is assigned. Now after that. We have to consider the condition for E. E men assign for O women. Now check the O row for the second table. So in O row already we assigned O to A. So O to E is not possible because when we check the condition for A and E, priority for A and E. So S priority is high in O row. So assign A to O, not E assigned to O. That means here we cannot assign E. 
so we red highlighted o in first table and e in second table now after that check the next possibility e and l so here if we assign e and l then in second table l in l row we consider e as a third position and c as the fourth position so we already assign l to c but with compared to e and c e's priority is high with compared to c so assign l to e not l to c so change here c is a red highlighted and remove the c from first table and assign e to l now after that now we remove the possibility for c so here next assignment for c we have to check so c to o now here check in second table assign o is possible to anyone so o are already assigned to a so here check the second table row number o a and c compare the probability of a and c so a priority is high with compared to c so o assigned to a not assigned to c so o is not possible for this c so red highlighted c and red highlighted o in first table now after that last probability last possibility for c equal to n now here in second table n not assigned to anyone so here we have to assign n to c so n c is possible here yes then we have to assign n with c so finally we can say that in this stable matching problem in this stable marriage problem our answer is like a man assigned to o woman b man assigned to b woman c man assigned to n woman d man assigned to m woman e man assigned to l woman so this satisfy the our problem if we assign according to this then this is a consider as a solution for this stable marriage problem so in this lecture we consider this stable marriage problem a solution of this stable marriage problem is like this this green shaded option is selected for the your yellow shaded option so this is a solution for this stable matching problem thank you for watching this video